It is time now for the Roadie Roundup. We are chatting about some of the headlines making the rounds this week. Time right now to meet our panel. Amy Potts from Late Rock 105. Our friend Alan from the Providence Journal stuck around. Julie Tremaine from Providence Monthly is also here with us. Good morning, everybody. Thanks, Good for, morning. Uh, thanks Good morning. for coming in. Let's start off with this. Ben Stiller recently took time out of his uh, uh, from shooting a movie in Cambridge to support Harvard's striking dining hall workers. So especially at this time of year, the, this, mm -hmm. this time of year with elections coming up, do you like to see celebrities get involved in politics and support, support a cause? Or should they just zip it, do the job, go acting, and let it be? Well, I, I think, you know, they're, they're public people, they're public figures, right? So some people are interested, I guess, in what they, how they feel. My policy is just, I don't talk politics, I don't talk religion, um, but, I mean, sometimes it's fun to see who they support, right. but... I, I don't know. I don't know if I would say like, oh, Ben Stiller's voting for this person. I'm, he's funny. I'm going to vote for whoever he's voting for. Yeah, that's for, what I was wondering. And, and also, do you think they have any influence on your vote or anyone else's vote? Well, I think they're citizens like everybody else. They have a right to say what they want to say. But I think when somebody like Deborah Messing or James Woods, two Rhode Island celebrities who are always taking political stands, says something, what you should ask yourself is, what do they know? Uh, yeah. uh, do they know, yeah, any, more? Right. Do they know right. any more than I do? Because James really, Woods, James Woods needs to shut it. <laughs> oh. He needs to control himself. <laughs> I feel like I don't really care what celebrities have to say. I don't care what their political leanings are, except James Woods. But <laughs> I'm, I care that they're saying something. Like it's nice to use their celebrity to highlight issues that really need to be mm -hmm. like the girl from uh, Divergent or whatever just got arrested for protesting that pipeline and like good for her because people are really noticing that pipeline because of her and teenagers who would right. never not really politically engaged anyway. Right. Too many right. people are just apathetic and to have celebrities out there taking a stand if it draws attention to an issue how can that be bad? Right. Mm -hmm. Does it have any influence on you? No. No. You? Oh no way. No way. No. <laughs> Amy? No. No. Mm -mm. Okay. All yeah. right. Sounds good to me. I mean, John Hamm, maybe. <laughs> like, listen. <laughs> listen. You could be swayed. Maybe, right. Yes. You could be swayed. Yeah. I get it. All, He's the all, exception. All good. Mm -hmm. uh, Providence is always uh, making great lists. Thrillist recently put us on the list among the best U.S. cities to spend a big weekend without going broke, which a lot of people want to do. So, what are your favorite weekend spots, and do you think? Uh, why do you think Providence made the list? Well, there's so much great stuff to do in Providence. That's why we publish a section every Thursday. Yes, you do. <laughs> giving people a guide. But seriously, you know, uh, uh, there's cheap things, there's free things, all the great festivals that we have in Rhode Island pretty much every weekend. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I like to go to the, to the wineries and the breweries and, you know, for five bucks you get five different samples. It's a great Alan's way. I partying it up. Party no, right? it. It's <laughs> a great way to spend some time and not spend a whole lot of money and Providence absolutely belongs on that list. Yeah. Amy? I agree. The same, you know, it, there's always something to do. Uh, water fire, obviously, you know, it's such a great thing. You just show up. Just show up. And they put on a show. Yeah, mm. and, and all the fun, like, they've got, you know, Providence Flea during the day. They have those weekends. Um, and then just the bars. There's so many different, like, I can't believe there are new places. I've been around for a long time in downtown Providence, and there are still places that I'm just discovering. I'm like, oh, my God, this is my new place. Right. And then that place is there, you know, the Dean doing karaoke there at night, you know, like that. I, I love all of the different options that we have, yeah. Yeah, Julie? And even just the, our restaurants, they're just as good as other major cities. I think they're I much agree. better yeah. than other major cities, but it costs half as much. Like, mm -hmm. a cocktail in Boston will cost you $15, and here it's $8. Or, right. like, the RISD Museum is free on Sundays. It's so easy to not spend a lot and have a really good time here. And mm -hmm. don't you think Providence really shines in, in the fall, like the fall, that oh, fall yeah. crisp weather when water fire is going on, when a lot of these restaurants, you know, people are outside mm -hmm. and really enjoying themselves. During the summer, a lot of people, you know, head down to the show up, but now it's really, it's a great place. Yeah, it's a tough absolutely. choice to pick, like, which festival you're going to go to. Right. On any given weekend, like Columbus Day, there were, what, like a 25 different, different things? things. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. Next, I want to get to this. A, uh, a study earlier this week found that plenty of women <laughs> curse more on the job than <laughs> any other demographic. What do you think? Do you think it's ever okay to swear at work? You're up, Amy. Oh, well, um, <laughs> if I swear during, you know, at work, where, where I'm on the air, obviously, I can't do that. I will be fired. But sometimes when that microphone goes off and I turn the little thing down, there's expletives. Right. And, and then I look around and go, oh, no, oh, my God, do I right. still have my job? Do you have a go-to? 
without saying it. <laughs> yes. You do have oh. a favorite. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a go-to at work and there's a go-to for driving, which nice. is one of my favorites. Balance? Uh, yeah, you know, 40 years ago or so, uh, there was a lot more swearing in newsrooms. There's not nearly so much. There aren't so many people with a bottle in the bottom drawer. Right. Uh, the smoke. Nobody awesome smokes. Smoke. You can't smoke in, in the <laughs> journal newsroom anymore. But there are times when you're on deadline and the system goes down right. and you just got to let fly. Right. And Julie, yeah. very, qu very quick. If I'm not maintaining the stereotype of like the foul-mouthed, boozy writer, I'm not doing my job. All right, there you go. That says it all. All right, always fun catching up with our pot potty mouths. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> panel. Thanks so much for joining us.